Hi guys, what's up? It's Mel. Welcome back to my channel. Or welcome to my channel. If you've never seen my face before, then hi, I'm Mel. Melissa, whichever you prefer. And this is not coming out on a Monday. I know that. Sorry, I'm moving my tripod a little bit. It's not coming out on a Monday, I know. This is coming out because I finally got this. <laughs> And I am so, so happy about it. So I finally got this. I've been waiting for this for absolutely months. And it's finally here. So I just want to open it for you guys. It is called Rise of a Queen. Um, the crate. So I'm very, very excited about it. So we're just going to go right into it and honestly open it. Because I have been waiting for this for literally months, like I just said. So let's see what's inside the box. So first of all, we get this. And then some bookish items. So this is called Rise of the Queen. And this is what was... Eh, this is how it looks like inside the box. And then this is what... Put it down. Thank you. And then this is what is what's inside the box. Um, so this is kind of like what they advertised on the website. Which is why I was like, oh, I have to see it. I have to see it now. Um, yeah. And then it has a list of special edition books right here that you can get, which are really, really cool and nice. Um, the QR code that you can go ahead and, like, pause the screen and use if you would like to. Here. Pause the screen and use that if you want to. Um, and then they have a thing about ludicorns. And I think I have a thing about the Mortal Instruments set. So this is, like, you know, all the fun stuff that you get. And so this is like a fun extra thing as well. What young queen are you? And it says take the quiz. So just some fun things there. Now we're going to go ahead and get into it. So this is called Warrior Queen. Pomegranate, Amber, Cedar, and something else? Okay. It smells quite nice. This is a candle, by the way. Yeah. It's a candle. It looks nice. Smells pretty good. Um, not my favorite candle. Don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I might put it under my candle burner or something. I don't know. But I do like that it comes in a tin and not in a glass because I've noticed that glass always like gets burnt, you know, those burnt marks on it. So I'm really glad that this doesn't come with that. So I'm very happy about that. The next thing is this little pouch, which I'm actually really excited about. Okay, it's a pouch that has crowns on it. And let me see. I think I know what this is, actually. No, I don't. I didn't. Oh, it's a sleeping mask. Oh, my gosh. Do you think the ability to sleep in counts as a special skill? <laughs> okay, that is super cute. So there's that. And then there's a little scrunchie. Oh, cute. I like this. This little, that, that's a cute pouch. I like it. So, and then you can pull your hair up and you can pull your eyes, like you can cover your eyes and you can go to sleep. And then it all just goes in this nice little pouch right here, which I am actually really happy with, so. Yeah, and I have a little sleeping pouch. So that's cute. I like that. And the next thing, okay, this thing I am very, very happy about. And the best part is, is that like with these things, like you can use this backing is a bookmark, which I think is pretty cool. Um, it's not that you should use it as a bookmark, but you can. Therefore, I do. Uh, yeah. So, here's this. And I'm pretty sure it's just like a letter opener, right? Or just like a sword or something? I don't know. It's a mini sword. I think it's pretty cute. Oh, and you know, this has like too many sticky things on it, so I might not use it as a bookmark. But still, I might. Wait, can I take the sticky things off? Barely. If I can take the sticky things off, then I'll use it as a bookmark. Otherwise, it's still cute. And then you just have like a little sword right here. Yeah. Eh, I'm trying to show you guys the best that I can. Don't really know what I'm going to do with the sword, honestly. That's almost like a wand. It's really nice, though. I like it. I'm putting that on top of the candle over there. Let me see if I can actually get these sticky things off. Ugh, no. Alas. Too bad. Okay. The next, oh my gosh. There's only a couple bookish items in this crate. But this one seems to be pretty cool. It comes in a little box. 
Oh my word, it's a mirror. It's a mirror that says Queen on it! And you can totally see the camera. <laughs> but this is a mirror that says Queen on it. If you can see that. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That is very clever. Let Joy. This is very clever. I like it. I like that one a lot. And then I'm going to go through the last two items in the crate before showing you the um, book. So this last thing is a card, I guess. Legend Morn. And I don't know who this queen is supposed to be in all honesty. Legend Born. So it says, Rue Matthews attends a resident program for Bright High School at UNC Chapel Hill where she witnesses a magical attack her first night on campus that takes her on a journey. Strengths, intelligent, quick thinking, and strong will, weaknesses, impulsive, and experienced, and naive. And then Evelyn Kane, a tall, mysterious 18-year-old Merlin of the Round Table, his path is destined to cross with Bree Matthews, strengths, kind, loyal, and powerful, magic wielder, weakness, vi vol volatile, arrogant, and sarcastic, and then Nick Davis, he is assigned by the UNC dean to be Bree's babysitter, and a self-exiled legend born, and is a self-exiled legend born. Nick might find himself recruited by Bree on a quest to solve a family mystery. Strengths, good-hearted, altruistic, and a born leader weaknesses, a bit privileged and bossy. <laughs> so, that's how this card looks like. And how, that's the back of what I just barely read. So yeah, and then we have this final item in here, which is like a little, it looks like a rug. I'm not really sure what it is. Or is it supposed to be like, I don't know what this is supposed to be. My honest best guess is that it's supposed to be like, um, like a cup thing that you can put your cup down on it, you know, like that kind of a thing. It just, it looks cute, you know, it looks cute. So there's that. Let's see if there's a cheat sheet in this little thing by chance, because I could use that right about now. Oh, there is. Okay, good. No, there's not. Summer buy guide. <laughs> That's only a summer buy guide. Let's see if there's a cheat sheet in here. Okay, so the crate items, it, that thing was a letter opener. This is a letter opener. Yay. A letter opener. Crown of Feathers Candle, the Select Sleeping Mask, the Wraith uh, and the Dawn Mug Rug, and then Fairest Mirror, and then Brie, Nick, and Selwyn Adventure Card. And then there were add-ons that I could get, but I didn't want any add-ons for this crate, honestly, because I just didn't. Um, they didn't look appealing to me, so I didn't get them. But this is the book. Oh my gosh. I love how they come in these packets. Like, these little bags are joyous. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's gold! Sorry. <clears throat> Cherry Wells would love this. This Woven Kingdom. Oh my gosh. Look how beautiful this looks. And it's kind of mirroring, so you can kind of see my camera. But try to see how beautiful this looks anyway. Oh my gosh. In a tale exquisitely crafted. You know what? Actually, let me read it. Um, let me not read it, because then you would know too much about it. But yeah, this looks like it's going to be amazing. There's a little bit of gold coming off, but that's okay. Yeah, this is my next book that I'm going to read. I have been wanting, waiting to read a book for a very long time, so I'm very, very excited that this is here. And then, oh my gosh, you guys, the reversible dust jacket. So this is how it looks like. You can still kind of see the camera, I'm sorry. But this is how it looks like. Here, let me go like this. So I usually read without the dust jackets, but then this is how the dust jacket looks like. So this kind of shows you kind of like what the story is going to have in it. 
So yeah, very exciting, very fun. I'm very, very happy with this. And that is the crate. I have waited for a very long time for this crate, so I'm very, very happy that it's finally here. Thank you so much to Joy for this amazing crate. And yeah, I have a book review coming out pretty soon and a couple more videos coming out very soon as well. But I really wanted to do this because the second I get a crate, I cannot help but unbox it because it's my joy to unbox these kinds of things. So... Yes, that is it. I love you guys very, very much. If you wouldn't mind, please subscribe so that I can get 100 subscribers and hopefully um, get a custom URL and like let my channel keep growing and everything. If you would like to see dinosaurs and me flying, well, me and my brother flying a plane, then check out um, Melissa Mandy Vlogs. And yeah, I love you guys very, very much. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.